Hey, this is Mark Kettinger from Sound Vision Magazine at Can Jam 2023 here at the Marquee Marriott in Times Square, New York City. And I am with Philip Mann of, of iFi, and uh, they're here at the show. Uh, they, have a couple, they have a new product, uh, which he's going to tell you about right now. Oh, so yeah, so we've just decided to uh, just, uh, the first thing that we're looking to really sort of talk about today is the IDS D uh, Diablo X. It's uh, the newest thing that we've got coming out and it's not quite out yet. It's just perfecting that technology, but we're working with XMEMS on making sure that we can be one of the first in the market to make sure that we can drive the IEMs that use their, MEMS, uh, their XMEM so, so technology. What is um, so essentially it's a rework of our most popular um, portable device, the Diablo. Um, it it's, sits at the top of the, of the range. Uh, however, though, what we've done is adapted, <coughs> we've adapted the different gain settings and you can actually have a separate setting here for XMEMS. I'm just gonna show that to the camera there for you. So there we go. So there's a specific setting that will actually drive the IEMs that are using this brand new technology. Uh, we really want to pride ourselves on making sure that we can be at the absolute peak of when this new technology is coming, that we're the guys that can power that. So. All right, so big amplifier for small headphones. Exactly that, yeah. And it's portable as well. So whether you're on the move, you know, you've, you've got the, the power that you need to be able to, uh, to get, them, get them going, really. Like how much power? Uh, like, just more than enough. <laughs> okay, so let's say you're just using a... Typical IEM. Sure. How many hours do you think of, of nice brisk? Oh, know? nice brisk. Uh, probably about a good six to eight hours, depending on uh, what's the power draw of these devices. Um, this is a new realm of technology with the XMEMS. Um, so, in terms of the power draw from this one and the length of battery life, that's something there's sort of stats that we would start to release officially in the future. Um, this Diablo X as well. It's not necessarily just for the XMEMS. It can be used for other IEMs as well. It's it's got it's building on technology that we've already got and adapting it so here um, so the XMEM technology can be used but also it's not the only thing that it will drive so yeah it's 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 a really good piece of kit and it'll be um, a lot more information released in official capacity over the next uh, coming months and weeks okay so pricing and availability is not available say that again pricing and availability then not yet not at this current moment in time um, I that will be the, something that we'll announce um, at, the, at the right moment for that but we wanted to at least let the people have a look at this over, the, over this uh, show. Um, we're having a really good time being able to showcase our product range, showcase the newest stuff that we've got. We've got a, a quite new uh, portable range. We've got some new devices, the, uh, the GoLink, for example. We've got the Uno in the uh, the, 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 uh, the tabletop DAC sort of usage. Um, we're having a really good time time in this show. It's just, it's a, definitely an essential on our list of ones that we need to make sure we're at. So yeah, you're, you're seeing really good turnout and, and a lot oh of yeah, response here. yeah, and everyone's like so you know so engaging when we're talking to them. Um, you know, it's nice to actually get face to face with customers. Um, you know, to, to actually be able to discuss the products and, and get some instant feedback and things. It's it, yeah, it's exactly it's why we do it. You know, to make sure that people can get the kick out of the music that they that they, that they love so much. Anyway. You think things change? significantly since the pre-COVID shows? Um, I think things have, I think the shows are starting to get back into traction. There's a lot of masks, there's a lot of court, you know, cautiousness, which is obviously healthy. It's a good thing to be, um, to be cautious, but it's nice to actually see that we're kind of getting back to normality in, in that sense. This show is, is buzzing. There's a lot of hustle and bustle going on um, and it's going to get better as, as the weekend goes on, no doubt.